Ladies and gentlemen, a few concluding remarks from your hosts. Um, I will start and Lothar Jetzenbeck from the International Bankers Forum will continue. The risk obviously is to the downside. The economy is recovering, but for banks, the crisis has a delayed effect. However, banks obviously have built up significant buffers, so they can be maybe able to absorb even bigger losses from defaulting loans. This is a good basis for the overall challenges, whilst an increase uh, of non-performing loans is likely to come. What have been the main messages to the banking community by the supervisors? From Andrea, from Frank, from Olli, from Felix, and from myself. You can expect from the supervisors that we will continue to implement the appropriate measures to enable you to further lend, whilst further securing financial stability. You can expect from us to maintain the relaxations of some rules as long as they are needed. And you can expect from us to allow for a smooth exit from this exceptional stance, uh, which is proportionate and also feasible for you. And you can also support, expect us to support your digital transformation, which could allow for better financial intermediation in the Eurozone and also uh, to make uh, the Euro area banking system uh, more profitable. But you will see us also driving the setups back to normal to ensure resilience also for future crises and to demand us to repair, uh, demand you to repair the damage which may have been done to the system and, of course, to individual banks. We expect from banks today to prepare for any and also for very adverse scenarios. We expect from banks to monitor your loan book rigorously. We expect from banks to keep the capital in the system and to resource the resilience after the shock. And do not reduce the speed to increase profitability and to the overhaul of the business models. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and for all the insights. We saw a constructive spirit between market participants and supervisors, and we saw an enthusiastic participation in the dialogue. Uh, and in, in the dialogue. Special thanks go to all the colleagues behind the scenes who made this roundtable uh, possible. In the International Bankers Forum, Bundesbank, uh, but also um, at the service providers. To weather the challenges, a coordinated approach by bank managers, policymakers, and supervisors is necessary. The SSM roundtable demonstrated that all parties are ready to contribute to it. And we are looking forward to continue this cooperative dialogue with all of you. Thank you very much, and now for your participation. And now I hand over uh, to Lothar uh, Jetzenbeck. Yeah, thanks a lot, Professor Wimmeling. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to all the keynote speakers, the moderators, and the panelists for this informative and impressive afternoon. We have heard a lot about COVID-19 with regard to the banking activities, the business models, digitalization, and banking regulation and prudential supervision, including accounting. We have heard about the foresighted corporate governance and the intensive communication between banks, banking associations, regulators, supervisors, and politics. And that's very important as a consequence out of this conference, banking is people and banking remains people. And so we do, have, we do have to discuss, we have to exchange our views, 
and we have to assess and we have to judge, and then later on we have to move on. One part I think is most important from this evening, the discussion about the near future in the European Union, the combination of banking union and capital markets union. Also, please keep in mind the publications from the EC, from the European Commission at the 24th of September, the capital markets recovery package, as well as the digital finance package. Very important to know and very important to read those proposals and those intentions that are laid down there. One point I want to stress, but, uh, keeping in mind what Federal Minister of Finance Olaf Scholz said. He said, banks should invest in infrastructure, and that in these uh, times of COVID-19 is very important to keep in mind. We had a conference with a lot of interesting discussions, and I said we will move on. And I think it's very important to remain with this communication, to move on between uh, in the communication between banks, banking associations, regulators, supervisors, and politics. And therefore, I'm very pleased to repeat once again the 13th SSM, European SSM Roundtable will take place at the kind invitation of the Bank of Finland in Helsinki on May 21st, 2021. Thanks to all participants, wherever you are, more than 1,000 participants, it's a great number. Stay well, hope seeing you next year. Bye bye, au revoir. Adios, arrivederci und auf Wiedersehen.